Okay, let's continue. So this 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 part will explain how to work with logistic regression and what is it. Um, so let's go further. So now we have uh, logistic regression. What is it? Let's see. Uh, important analytic, analytic tool, a natural baseline supervised machine learning tool for classification is also the foundation of neural networks. So it's also baseline, as you remember from last uh, lectures, it's also the like standard. If you want to make some classification, you should uh, start with this logistic regression or naive bias. So, and then compare other algorithms to this one. And uh, like this one is very um, optimal for many tasks. Classification reminder, positive negative sentiment, spam, not spam, authorship, attribution, Hamilton or Madison. So these people, I think, uh, Hamilton and Madison. I think, but this is not not real Madison. Text classification definition input a document a fixed set of classes output a predicted class. So this is same as naive bias. Uh, in naive bias also we had document and fixed set of classes with which we have to predict. Binary classification in logistic regression. Uh, so the very uh, the basics of logistic regression. Do we have some graphic here? Okay. So it is something like this. You give, you give, uh, you have some z's, and uh, you have to predict. Uh, okay, let me write here. So logistic regression is intuitively simple. So we want some. Uh, we have some, for example, for x. If you have here, we have many x's, but we, for example, we have only x. So we have this x parameter and y parameter. Y will be like this one. Uh, y will contain only two things, like one and zero. So, for example, is it a cat or not cat? So it's simple. It is very simple. So this is y, and for example, this is some values. And for example, we have some value here, some value here, some value here, some value here, some value. Here. So this is spread store. Mm. So for example, let's say this is not zero. This is zero, for example, here. But this is ten, and we can do some very uh, basic research. Like uh, we have students who got not failed, not failed, for example, this one, and who got failed, and we also got how many times they studied. So this means one not failed and zero is failed. And this is amount of hours which I study, for example, in a week. So these ones study two hours, this one five, seven, and this is 10, 12, uh, 17, and 19. So logistic regression, its uh, intuition is very simple. You must find this threshold, like you must find this. Uh, you must to divide these two parts. Uh, mainly, it is done by this one. So we can write if it is less than this number. If it is less than ten, then the student failed. Uh, if it is more than, he doesn't fail. But uh, most of time, we need not very concrete, discrete numbers. Like it must be failed or not failed. But maybe we must give them some probability like if you study 10 hours maybe you are uh, 0 0.9 or you can like draw here these numbers so for example there can be such situations so we can say okay if you studied 8 8 uh, if you study 8 hours you maybe will finish or you maybe not finish so the very simple logic is to divide these uh, two parts but here it's placed that there are feature vectors, so actually it is not like we have only one attribute here, but in most of cases we'll have many attributes, so many, not one x, but x1, x2, xn, till xn, and we'll have to predict a class. 
Examples of inputs and feature spam. So, for example, you have to detect spam or not spam. You can say x1 is count of the world sale in the mail. So, how many worlds there are in sale? How many mentions of drugs? How many numbers of URLs? How many links? Etc. So, you can see many, many, uh, many this type of features. Uh, features and classification and how do you know that these fine begonias are not of equal importance uh, so uh, yeah I don't, uh, okay, I, don't, I don't get it features in logistic regressions for each feature will have weight W so now in if you remember in uh, naive bias we had uh, probability for each word so for example if word uh, if some word occurs its probability have 0.4 that it, it is in spam or 0.6 that is it's not spam very positive and we can give different uh, weights weights can be a numbers any numbers from minus t plus t plus input observation vector x weights one per feature so there are there are, this is our features Uh, features are uh, and features are different things like uh, which words are there or some exclamation mark and sometimes some some feature can be uh, very important some features can be not important so for example if you classify uh, some things some of the features maybe will not uh, like and uh, And this one we multiply it and uh, we predict the class. Multiply this. How to do classification? For each feature, weight tell us importance of x. Since uh, we will sum up all the weight features and by. So this is very simple. You take feature, each feature, multiply it by weight and plus b, bias. Bias will learn it uh, later. If the sum is high, we say y1. If low, then y0. So, uh, we can so the logic is we need to sum a sum is high uh, so we can say uh, z is in probability so when you multiply the, all of these features they give us some number but for example we want um, but in most cases we do not need the numbers any 445 or something like this we need 0 0.1 because we want to classify between 0 and 1 so for these purposes we have a function which is called sigmoid it's some, something like this and you make it is 1 divided 1 by 1 plus e minus z mm. uh, it is useful sigmoid or logistic functions also logistic or sigmoid cause it's called and uh, why because it is between 0 and 1 and you can input any type of z it can be from minus infinity to till infinity so it can be any number uh, but in the result it will be between 0 and 1 so this is why it's uh, used there can be other also methods which also succeed to this par uh, criteria criteria but we will uh, but this is also is uh, good function because its derivative is almost same as it is this number so it's like uh, it was uh, selected because it's like feature uh, good, has good good we will compute uh, then we will pass this more function so this is something like this as uh, here we had it as z but now we put instead of wx plus b that it is equal to z and so on turning capable probability into class 5 this is decision boundary uh, so we can say that if it is more than uh, 0 0.5 so we got most of numbers will get will be between 1 and 0 but we say okay let's but uh, uh, so but, but 
none of them will be 1 and 0, we can specify that if it is more than 0, 5, it is 1, and if it is less than, then 0. This is probability classifier. So if uh, it is here, so for example, if it starts from here, it will be like in 1. So this this is like explanation how it works. You will have, uh, for example, features. Okay, what is that saying? Ah, okay, so uh, count positive lexicon. So we ha you have some positive lexicon. As I remember in task uh, in week three, we have some positive lexicon data set. Not positive, but they had some positivity or negativity. And then, for example, you count how many words. So, for example, x2 is negative lexicon. Hockey, I think, second rate. These things are negative words. And they are two. So, you have one document and you want to classify it. 3, 2, 1. x1 positive lexicon. So, positive is great, nice, enjoyable. For example, if there are no words, no, where is this x3? Okay, this no word. Uh, then we have uh, then we have this these things uh, and uh, log word count of word classifying sentiment for input x. So we this is our parameters and we got these numbers so for them log word count of doc uh, how many words we use log to make it like steep so log logarithms you know that they are like this one okay they are, they climb like this one or we can write it draw, draw it here so logs are actually as I remember um, they from starting from one they go like this actually but when numbers they go, go like this so this is very uh, so if you do not you cannot you can use not logs but by using logs it will be better to your algorithm classifying for simple input so we have these values and then we we there is important word here suppose so because in the beginning you do not know the word w and you multiply it and bias is 0, 0,1 you multiply and that in, in, in the end you got this number 0 0.7 so this is the probability of being positive it will be 0 0.7 probability of being negative it will be 0 0.3 uh, any classification task period disambiguation so it is also important task uh, you want for example in uh, in text find which word is like uh, end of sentence or not so for example this is end of sentence because the next word is starts from big letter and for example this is not end of sentence main street it's like abbreviation and there are many cases so we can use like uh, if case wi lower if the word is in lower if the word itself is lower case acronym dic dictionary so we have acronyms like st will have dictionary and uh, case cap and otherwise classification in binary logic regression summary given set of classes etc uh, sorry okay uh, given a training set components of a prolix sub um, so this is uh, classifications and the most important word uh, where did the w's come from given a training set of m observations learn the parameters of the model so actually this is called training you by special algorithm train the w to find it which most specifies most so again we will do uh, training so we can use sigmoid and softmax softmax is sigmoid uh, but for many classes um, for learning you can use loss function there are, can be many loss and optimization algorithm algorithm stochastic gradient descent uh, okay I will explain it later so the, this is the um, main differences 
between naive bias and logistic regression. Naive bias is generative classifier and logistic regression is a discriminative classifier. What does it mean? It means that, uh, let's see, suppose we are distinguishing cat and dog images. This is cat, this is dog. Uh, and build a model what's cat image. So actually we uh, generate like features that whiskers, ears, eyes, etc. Uh, and model for dog will give that dog has this uh, long uh, mouth, etc. Discriminative is uh, is trying to distinguish dogs from cats. You do not create a model of what does he have, but you want to find features which is which are important uh, and try to do this one. Uh, and this is like explanation, you can find it. Multinomial logistic regression is uh, like the advanced variant of logistic regression where you have more than two classes. Most of cases they have such things. If two classes we use multinomial logistic regression uh, and we use something like this, the, the problem is that they should be equal to one, some of them. Uh, softmax, each value in range, all the softmax function will be something like this. So, uh, softmax, it must be between 1 and k and uh, you multiply it. So actually the sum is something like this, ez1 divided by sums of ezi for each z and uh, you will get softmax for each number of the vectors. So for example, you, we want to make uh, classes uh, and then find the values. So for example, y, c, uh, y equal to c, y equal to class, for example, positive or neutral. And given x, so you multiply by x weights bias, so it's actually uh, looking same. And then sum all of these weights to x, uh, different that you you search from all uh, weights to uh, to this to this number. So you multiply this part and then compare to this part. Uh, or multiply or sum all of these methods. Features in logistic regression, one if this one, 